what? It's the end of the week? Oh, man. I'm, oof, man, that week. Oh, I get news last week? Okay. And here we go. Thor. Starting off, let's go with a positive note, or a little bit of a fun note. Had a bunch of rumor mills this week, Valley and Tana both covering it. Uh, some new symbiotes, She-Hulk, gonna get here pretty soon, seems like. Can't wait to taste those symbiotes on uh, the team of three that we currently have. Man, that could be uh, pretty sick. Hopefully they've got that same raid synergy so you can get a nice, good, solid raid team going. And let's just jump right in. I love you 3,000 orbs. Not fragments, but orbs. So yeah, uh, lots of talk about this thing this week, huh? Uh, it started off with uh, seeming like, oh, wow, okay, and then started looking at the money. Uh, Chewburger and AR guys had it around 33 grand a player. I think I had it around 48 grand, depending on which offers you buy. Either way, it's a ton of money per player. Tons. You know, and then if you actually gave all those things to every single player in the game, it ends up being like billions of dollars worth of inventory in the game. If people were to pay for those, it, it was a mass, mass issue, obviously. And it'll happen over the weekend. And Scopely, you know, we they weren't going to respond necessarily other than saying they know of the issue, they're going to come back to it, etc. So, then we get back to it, right? We've got stuff on Reddit talking about, uh, you know, potential problems with this, talking about what is the solution going to be. There's only a few different ways they could resolve this. In my opinion, they picked the right one. And then the question was, are they going to be able to do the implementation and the compensation to make the folks happy? If you haven't noticed, this is the longer part of our news segment, right? Normally it's blips. This thing is worth a little bit more than that. So, clearly. So after that, uh, we're like, okay, all right. You guys picked the right decision. Let's see how it gets implemented. Had a few hour maintenance. And it was like, all right, came back. And then there was a bunch of lag. It's kind of like, all right, people had some problems for a while. That seemed to get fixed pretty quickly. And then it started lingering about problems with accounts. Gear missing, gear being deconstructed, and then many uniques missing. Um, other people saying their gear 11 Emma Frost turned to gear 9 Emma Frost. It was like, okay. And I at that point, I was just kind of like, oh my god, Orbageddon, man. Orbageddon. That's what this thing is, just... Yeah, so, look, hopefully uh, the Scopely folks can get everything worked out. Hopefully they can avoid problems like this in the future. I will say that uh, people are tired. I'm seeing a ton of people quit. I'm seeing a lot of different alliances struggling to fill recruiting on people who are at that later game or close to later game level. Even my alliance in itself, uh, I've got a spots to fill, and some of that was been, it's kind of like, it's hard, we get, you know, people pop up here and there, we get some good candidates, luckily. But uh, we're also kind of casual. So, not super casual, kind of. Anyway, point being is people are quitting. Hopefully this doesn't cause more quits. That was really my worry, is that people who are just gonna walk away because they were fed up, and then people who are still there playing, trying to fill in the gaps, they get fed up of trying to fill in the gaps, and they're like, you know what, enough of this, I'm done. We'll see. So that was a longer segment on this part of the news. Normally I don't do that, but I just felt like this is such, such a big thing that I kind of needed to talk about for a little bit. So probably been flashing up all kinds of different images that you've seen. Uh, it's just kind of been crazy. You know what I mean? One of the things that uh, you know, we popped up was, you know, jokes about where it came from. You know, the fact that it was in the valuable lessons uh, milestone, the, the amount of the amount of rewards people got. And then this thing actually got covered by... Uh, Vice Gaming. Let me let me pull that up real quick. So you can see Vice even covered this thing, you know, and it was talking about giving away, and it goes through here, and it talks about how much they actually gave away, and just the air and all that. It was, you know, it, it was, yeah. So Chewburger I mentioned, who's no longer with us in the game. Uh, he's obviously still playing games. I think he's going to cover Avengers and Realm of Champions, but got out just before this and came back and did a quick vid on it, and, uh, Guy seems happier than he's been in a while, so kudos to him for sure. So anyway, point being, 
again, is Orb Orbageddon will hopefully leave us with a planet of Marvel Strike Force to play and survive in and we can all have fun with. So, let's see. Another bug, Reddit talked about health not uh, refilling in Dark Dimension. Just another thing that people are getting frustrated about, but we'll see if that gets fixed. Another bug we got going on, you can see classes with full health there. This person's going to be going in, uh, I believe it's in a raid here in a second. And you'll see Colossus's health. And unfortunately, it's not at the same level that it was that we saw a second ago. And it's kind of like, hmm. Okay. Uh, oh, that was weird. Did you catch that? Watch the health go down. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. All right, nobody's there. So Colossus's health just straight up drains. Just drains. So uh, this is kind of interesting too. I mean, I, honestly, I don't know what to do at this point anymore. People are uh, hitting me up with a lot of bugs. Uh, we pass them on. If one of the other content creators or envoys have not passed those on, I definitely do. Um, I, I really hope Marvel Strike Force can get in scope. They can get these things kind of worked out. So we've got the new Blitz rewards structure point system. Sabretooth ended. Now we finally got Zemo's Blitz. You can see our predictions up here. These were hotly debated a little bit within our personal group. And even afterwards, we got some pings. Wait, those are too low or that one's too high. And it's it's going to be interesting. Uh, the, the, the amount of the people are going to blitz, the, the actual scores they can get. This is, I think, the first one people are going to actually try. Now, I have to admit, me personally, I used to always go for that top 2,000. And now I'm kind of, you know what? I'm getting tired of constant blitzing. These are different like the difference in orbs okay i mean one top 100 to top one percent don't even waste your time frankly for these mega orb fragments that's nothing but i think it's 200 it's 250 but for the extra shards maybe you know you might want to get that top one percent but again so much time so much time and i i might have been being distracted with another game and kind of life work etc family so you know the blitz system really is just tired so we'll see where these points kind of come in but that's where our predictions were for zemo the verse battle we had that announcement who's coming not coming etc so then we got another announcement hopefully this also gets implemented well one of the things that i passed on as an envoy to uh, scopely fox next at the time was that this is a great game mode but it's only going to be used if people can take away time from the other game modes and right now, you can't do that without with barely functioning in your real life. So I hope they balance that out because verse battle can be awesome if you have time for it. So we'll see how that goes. Now let's go to our war correspondent, which this time it's just gonna be me because Stoner Gwen is just a little burnt out. So lots of stuff going on this week. So war at the end of last uh, at last season. Uh, another tight one. Fighting for that 10 spot, we had Black Panther, Hydra Unknown, Legion's Mutiny, all pretty close, but we're kind of pink. Ended up pulling that last spot off. We got a rest in peace, Black Panther coming at nine, Legion of Chadwick, eight. We're kind of black quite a bit ahead of them, uh, coming in at seven, and then P a Pants of Hulk Motley verse, a little bit ahead of them at six, and then Fake Black quite a bit ahead of them at five, Baby Yoda, again, another leap up at four, and then your top three, you, of course, get Pants of Hulk Smash, uh, Pants of Panther, and Legion of Cabal all within just a few hundred points of each other. So that top three spots with those three alliances, as usual, are um, really, really tight. Thanks, War Correspondent. Now let's go to our Raid Specialist. So this is the one that's typically uh, the closest as far as uh, people fighting, and you see a lot of movement at the last few hours, really. Uh, fighting for that 10th spot, we've got Pants of Hulk Smash, uh, Vengeance Common Gods, Agents of Z, Wakanda Forever, uh, Legion of Black Dragons currently holding that 10th spot. All of those alliances are really, really tight. Uh, Fake Green is with them. Uh, we Proud Few Black Panthers uh, a little bit ahead of them. And then you start getting some jumps to Illuminati, Asgard Elite, uh, Vengeance or Orphos de Forca. They're always typically up there. Baby Yoda, uh, a little over a million ahead of them. Fake Black, pretty tight with New Age of Salvation. Sigma Green has quite a bit of jump on New Age of Salvation, and then the Pants of Panther have quite a bit of lead above them. So I don't expect a lot of change, at, the, at least in the top three, but that's where your raid season sits with about two days to go. Thanks, raid guy, who is again me, because all these other guys are just tired and worn out. 
so I gotta fill in. Can't get good help these days. Talked about this before, Domino being orbtainable in the Blitz Orb only. Not in the store, we got a confirmation for that this week. Again, we'll see how farmable these X-Force tunes are prior to Doc Ock. It's getting pretty tight on time. Blowing it up this time for the suggestion of the week because it's not something I pulled from Reddit. It's something that I've talked about before that I'm now finding to be a problem again when uh, looking for recruits. And that is, if you finish 7.4, Ultimus 7.4, 7.5, some higher tier, you should be rewarded for the first time rewards of everything underneath that just like they are in the character campaigns. Why? Because now you've got a bunch of alliances who are doing 7.4, 7.5 recruiting, and a lot of the people that I'm seeing out there are in 7.1, 7.2, maybe 7.3, so they'd miss out on 7.2, 7.3, 7.4 if your alliance is purely farming 7.5, which I know mine is, and I'm sure others out there. In the past, we used to go back and do it and do it and do it, and for anybody who came in or who maybe had missed it, and now it's, it was pretty resource intensive to an extent. It wasn't just like auto and be done. Some of those were kind of like, oh, we got to push to get to the final boss. I got to spend cores, da, 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 da. So, you know, and we did that several times. And now it's the point where it's like, okay, well, we want to farm 7.5 and make sure to stay stop 100. But, you know, we also want to bring in some good people and, and make sure they get their first time rewards as well. So it, it, it kind of leaves alliances and uh, players in a tough pickle. So recommendation, suggestion of the week, Scopely. Make Ultimus difficulty first time rewards the same as your character campaigns. I know there's probably a reason you didn't do that. I get it. But at this point, you know, just make it so that people don't have to worry about, well, I can't skip out on, I can't join your alliance because I need my 7.2, 7.3, et cetera rewards. So suggestion of the week. What do you think? We got a quick blog. There wasn't a lot of detail on this, so I'm going to hit this real quick. They have a catalyst of uh, login calendar coming up. You get some purple and orange catalyst. Very nice. Appreciate that. The biggest thing probably to take from this is the gear, orange gear war orb update where they're going to give you uh, the right pillar is going to guarantee superior catalyst. The left pe uh, pillar is going to guarantee some superior gear pieces for gear tier 14. The center will be split between these uniques, uh, superior uniques and the superior gear. And due to that difference, they're going to double those quantities. So keep an eye out for that. Hopefully that serves you better for gearing up. See a lot of this gear happening in game where they're trying to introduce more gear. I think they finally kind of realized that they've bottlenecked the community too much and that people just end up giving up. Or the new players who are joining can't catch up fast enough. Upcoming Blitz, we've got Strife, in case you didn't have him maxed out or you want to save those Blitz credits. And then the other one we've got is another Baron Zemo, which will be the Red Star version of the character. So. In case you didn't open any red star orbs or didn't get any, this will be your opportunity to get anywhere from one to four red stars, depending on how much effort you want to put in. Two times hand drops for those specific nodes. Can't wait for the hand work rework eventually. Still not here. And then we've got the relic hunt coming. So that's it. That was a quick block. Ending on a bit of a sad note this week, Chadwick Boseman passed, as many of you probably already know. Uh, a sad moment for a lot of people, um, whether you knew him or not. Anybody who watched him uh, in his role as specifically as Black Panther for this community, played many other iconic roles. He really did serve as kind of a uh, iconic role model to many people. Uh, also helped people feel a little bit more empowered through that superhero. Um, one of the biggest, largest black superheroes that have been out there and the movie crushed, he crushed it. So it broke a lot of hearts when they saw it, especially since most people didn't even know it was happening. So uh, rest in power, Chadwick. Thank you for everything you've done. You will definitely be missed.